If you consider the shape-shifting T-1000 robot in Terminator 2 Judgment Day terrifying, your dreams might come true. As per a new study, researchers have generated a Terminator-like liquid metal that can stretch horizontally and vertically as well as alter shapes. A slime robot could be your next surgeon. It wraps around items like an octopus. It can also self-heal by swallowing objects inside your gut. This Uzi has the potential to change the face of surgery. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for joining us today. Today we will be speaking about the leaked Terminator-like liquid robot, and it's amazing. Stick to the end and watch the entire video to get all the details. Also, remember to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell notification. All right then, let's get started. When you think of robotic surgery, you might imagine remotely controlled robotic arms spinning over a patient or tiny endoscopic cameras that assist surgeons in navigating with precise instruments. You surely don't imagine a magnetically operated slime robot sneaking through your intestines and eating like some sci-fi goo. The reconfigurable magnetic slime robot, on the other hand, is a stretchy slug-like robot that can squeeze through narrow areas, wrap around things, and even self-repair after being cut in half. A moving magnetic slime capable of enveloping smaller things, self-healing, an extremely substantial deformation to compress and pass through confined areas has been developed by scientists. A squad of Chinese researchers has built a magnetic slime that can be reconfigured on the fly to perform various robotic functions. The group outlines their slime, its potential applications for it, and the steps they took to make it less hazardous in a study published in the journal Advanced Functional Materials. Over the last few years, researchers have created several soft robots that could be used as therapeutic devices in the human body. In this new endeavor, the researchers have added a type of slime to that list, which could one day be used to recover material unintentionally consumed or to treat internal injuries. Most soft robots designed for use in the body are incredibly small, allowing them to go via arteries and veins and into organs. The Chinese soft robot is significantly larger, around the size of a ping pong ball. A magnetic field as with other soft robots, activates movements. Nonetheless, unlike many other soft robots, the same magnetic field could also be utilized to change the robot's shape on the fly. The study, published in Applied Materials and Interfaces, shows how liquid metals like gallium, when mixed with nickel or iron, may be controlled into device shapes using magnets. Furthermore, the vertically extended MLMD, Magnetic Liquid Metal Droplet, may move horizontally with half of its body in solution and half in the air, resembling the nature of an upright walking amphibian, the research said in the study's abstract. Magnetic miniature soft-bodied robots provide non-invasive access to confined spaces and are ideal for minimally evasive surgery, micromanipulation, and targeted drug delivery. However, existing magnetically operated small soft robots based on silicone and fluids have limits. The elastomer-based small-scale soft robot cannot navigate a very constrained area due to its limited deformability. In contrast, while fluid-based soft robots seem more capable of deformation, they are nevertheless limited by the fluid's unstable shape and hence poorly adaptable to the environment. Non-Newtonian fluid-based magnetically acuted slime robots with the flexibility of elastomer-based robots and the reconfigurable substantial deformation characteristics of fluid-based robots are presented. The robots can navigate small 1.5 millimeter diameter tubes and maneuver on numerous surfaces in challenging situations. The proposed slime robot performs various duties, including grabbing sod items, eating and transferring dangerous substances, monitoring human motion, and circuit switching and repair. This research suggested construction of revolutionary soft-bodied robots and expanded their potential use in biological, electronic, and other domains. Neodiamond magnetic particles, borax, and polyvinyl alcohol make up the slime. As a result, a dark brown glob that responds well to a magnetic field is formed. Engineers constructed the robot into a tortoise, a half tortoise, a pancake, a sphere, and a straight line using that field. They exhibited settings that may be used to modify items in a YouTube video. The half tours, for example, might be used to encircle and push one or more items in a specific direction. They also clearly used the pancake form 
to coil two pieces of wire into the robot body to connect them. They point out that a similar strategy may be used to encircle an object that needs to be transferred to a specific spot. The slime is also poisonous. Therefore, it cannot be used in the body, according to the researchers. To overcome this limitation, they applied a silica covering, which they cautioned would be temporary. According to its makers, the slime, controlled by magnets, is also a good electrical conductor and may be used to link electrodes. According to Lin Zhang, a professor from CUHK's Department of Medical and Automation Engineering and one of the project's organizers, a non-Newtonian fluid behaves like a solid when touched swiftly by a liquid, when touched softly and slowly. This behavior allows the robot to be elastic and strong enough to wrap around objects like cables or ball bearings. You can deform this material with a very significant displacement, similar to how liquid can pass through a tiny channel, Zhang explained. However, it can sometimes behave like a solid, since we know that if you want to utilize it as a robotic hand, it must interact with the environment. The robot is controlled by microscopic magnetic particles mixed into the fluid, which allow the slime to be handled using a magnetic field. It may be steered towards narrow passages and channels by a single magnet, or can be anchored and stretched by two magnets. Alternatively, if the controlling magnet is rotated, it functions like an octopus arm, wrapping up or grabbing items easily. The dark colored magnetic blob has been compared to flubber, the titular substance in a 1997 sci-fi film and described as a magnetic turd and a wonderful and tiny bit horrifying on social media. Despite his publication, Professor Ling Zhang of the Chinese University of Hong Kong, who co-created the slime, stressed that the substance was an actual scientific study, not an April Fool's joke. When external magnets are introduced to the slime, they can manage to travel, rotate, or form O and C forms because it includes magnetic particles. The blob was described as a magnetic slime robot in a peer-reviewed Advanced Functional Material Study journal. The ultimate goal is to discharge it like a robot, Zhang said adding that the slime lacked autonomy for the time being. We still regard it as a scientific investigation, attempting to comprehend its material properties. According to Zahn, the slime exhibits viscoelastic characteristics, which sometimes behaves like a solid, sometimes like a liquid. It is composed of a polymer known as polyvinyl alcohol, borax, a common ingredient in cleaning goods, and neodymium magnetic particles, it's similar to mixing water and cornstarch at home, Zhang explained. Combined, they form oblique, a non-Newtonian fluid whose viscosity fluctuates with force. It behaves like a solid when touched swiftly. When you gently and slowly touch it, it behaves like a liquid, Zhang explained. While there are no instant plans to test the slime in a medical environment, the scientists believe it could be useful in the digestive system, such as decreasing the harm caused by small swallow battery we may employ this kind of slime robot to make an encapsulation, to produce some kind of inert layer, to avoid hazardous electrolytes leaking out, he said. The magnetic particles in the slime, on the other hand, are toxic. To build a supposedly protective coating, the researchers covered the slime in a layer of silica, the major component of sand. The safety would also depend heavily on how long you kept them within your body, Zion explained. Zion went on to say that pigments or dye might be utilized to brighten the slime, which is now an impenetrable brown-black color. It isn't the first time scientists manufactured a malleable metal. Previously, because of highly surface tensions, certain metals that are liquid at ambient temperatures, such as the gullium mentioned above and other alloys, could only be stretched horizontally. It must also be submerged in water to avoid the formation of a paste. However, the researchers, including the study's primary author, Lang Ho, added iron and nickel to the solution, and a tiny aloe bathed in hydraulic acid, which reduces the surface tension. They were then able to extend the droplet to nearly four times its resting length and manipulate it with magnets. According to the researchers, the liquid metal was also conductive and could light up an LED bulb when two electrodes were connected. While the ship-shaped robot like the T-1000 is unlikely to appear anytime soon, the researchers did emphasize the possibilities for future uses, such as robots. MLMD presents a functional and promising framework for liquid metals to further improve multi-freedom in free spaces, 
ultimately leading to dynamically reconfigurable intelligent and biomimic soft robots in the future, the researchers stated. Well, that's all we have for today. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.